Every single time I have left my hometown, I've discovered things I couldn't even previously put into words. It opened up my eyes to a brand new way of viewing the world, and therefore, myself. It started when I was 19. After failing to get into any colleges I actually wanted to go to, I found myself at the University at Albany. The first time I would be living away from my home in Buffalo, New York. I was extremely nervous, but I knew that by going somewhere where I didn't know anybody for at least an entire year, it could potentially change my life, whether that was for better or for worse. In this case, it was a little bit of both. I found my roommate through one of those websites like RoomSurf because we both liked playing soccer and we were were both going to school for computer science. At the time, I didn't realize how odd it was to be living with a complete stranger for an entire year, but now when I look back on that, it was one of the greatest life experiences that I had the opportunity to partake in. To see the ins and outs of someone who grew up in a different part of the country and develop an understanding of what it meant to live with someone that wasn't part of my family made me much more open-minded to the ways in which other people function. It was the first time that I found myself saying on a frequent basis, there really is a whole world out there for me to explore. Eventually, I ended up getting a feel for this eastern side of New York, as many people who attended the school were also from Long Island. I don't really know how to describe it, but the energy of the entire place was so much different from home, right down to how everything smelled. And through that experience of my freshman year of college, I made many friends and enhanced my social skills to a level that I wouldn't have been capable of doing had I decided to stay in my hometown for college. Regardless of all the self-discoveries that I made that year, I realized that Albany was not for me, and I ended up transferring to a college back home to finish my undergraduate studies. For the next four years, I stayed in Buffalo doing virtually all the same things day in and day out. I'd go to the same restaurants, the same venues for concerts, and hang out with the same friends. And in a place like Buffalo, even though it is a queen city and has a pretty large population, it feels like everybody knows each other. Or at the very least, you see someone and you're like, yeah, I've definitely seen that person at a party hosted by a friend of a friend that I know. And because of this, everyone kind of thinks and acts the same way. Not only that, but it's also incredibly hard to break out of the identity that everyone knows you as growing up. Since I've felt like the socially awkward, quiet, average kid for the majority of my life, everyone expects that sort of identity out of me, and it was much harder to reinvent myself because of it. This was subconsciously holding me back. Knowing I had these physical and metaphysical fallbacks I could count on, even if my life went completely to because there was just so many people I knew here held me back from really going all in on my dreams of making YouTube a full-time job. I still love Buffalo and everyone there to death, but the energy of the city was no longer matching the person that I wanted to become. By mid-2020, I had finally moved out of my parents' house, but there was still the lingering safety net of comfortability from my hometown that was clouding my ambitions. And as if the universe was reaching its hand out to me to give me a nudge, out of nowhere, my friend from high school, who is now a YouTuber, Nick White, asked me if I wanted to move into an Airbnb with him and a couple others in Las Vegas, Nevada. With only a few thousand subscribers and just barely enough money to live on my own, I decided to take the leap and leave my hometown once again. And again, this whole experience of living somewhere completely different from where I grew up opened my eyes to an entirely new way of perceiving life. This time, there was even more of a dramatic difference because it was the first time I'd gone this far west in the United States. In a place like Vegas, the energy could be best described as chaotic. Walking downtown on the Las Vegas Strip, you see just about every type of person you could think of. The bachelors spending their night out with their about-to-be-married friend, the preachers talking about the word of God, the drug addicts, both the wealthy and unwealthy ones, and the locals who were kind of tired of all the sins happening in a place like Sin City. I had no idea if this was going to be the right move for me because you never know with a risk like that, but I knew I was going there for at least one thing, to work my off and see the other sides of wealth. And boy, was there a whole lot of that in Vegas. Despite it being apparent that there were plenty of new ways of seeing for me to explore, the majority of my time was spent inside making videos. Because I was living with two other YouTubers, I was in an environment that almost demanded you to be creative and brainstorm ideas. I learned things about YouTube and growing my brand that I never would have understood or pursued had I still been in that tiny apartment just a couple blocks away from the home in which I I grew up in. And Vegas was the place where YouTube finally became my full-time job after four years of uploading videos. 
But eventually, the energy of Sin City got the best of me. When you live with people who have entirely different realities and upbringings as you, you're bound to disagree on things, from the way the house should be clean, to our views on money, status, and wealth. After some heated arguments and dramatic events, that Airbnb house ended up splitting up. Sin City had swallowed up another outsider once again. And once again, I found myself in an apartment in my hometown of Buffalo, New York. After being in that apartment for a while and reflecting on my time spent in Vegas, I realized something. Although I hadn't made any friends there, and I nearly lost some of my close friends from high school, it taught me a valuable lesson about the importance of living in a situation like that. I would have never known what I was looking for in a set of friends and potential roommates had I not decided to take that leap and go there. And again, it opened my mind up to all the different belief systems, ways of living, and values people in different parts of the country had, just like Albany did. And I became more understanding as to why some people have an entirely different way of reacting and believing certain things about reality. You see, it's one thing to read about all the different cultures and the ways in which people conduct their lives, but it's an entirely different thing altogether to actually experience that culture itself and the people in that culture. But after that reflection, I was back to square one. In Buffalo, comfortable with where I was at, the people I knew, and now, on top of all of that, how much I was making. This lasted for almost an entire year until I felt myself getting antsy. I'd reminisce back on those times in freshman year and how novel each moment felt, not knowing what would happen or who I'd meet, and when I was in Vegas, experiencing the desert heat and rowdy energy of a city built for tourists. Two massively pivotal points for my self-development and career, and so, I knew it was time for me to create a third. And that was when I decided to drive 24 hours from Buffalo all the way down to a city where I knew absolutely nobody, which is where I am now, Austin, Texas. I've now been living here for about three months, and so far, it's the place that I've fallen in love with most. Being that it is in Texas, but a more liberal side of Texas, you get to see all sides of the political spectrum. A place like this requires you to think with an open mind, because you're probably going to meet somebody who disagrees with you on at least a handful of things. And to me, that sounds incredible. So far, I've made some really great connections, friends, more than friends, and explored many different parts of the city. And above all, I finally feel like I'm in a place that aligns with the energy that I was looking for. I wanted to gain a more objective insight into the benefits and potential downsides of moving out of your hometown, so I decided to interview some students at the University at Texas Austin to see how leaving their hometown has impacted them and the advice they would give to someone looking to do the same. Where are you guys from? I'm from Odessa, Texas. And Fort Worth, Texas. From Virginia. I am from Portland, Maine. Um, I lived overseas in Lebanon for six years. I lived in Dallas most of my life, but I lived in Naples, Italy for three years. How important do you think it is for someone to leave their hometown at least for a little while in regards to the development of themselves I don't think there's anything better than traveling being able to immerse yourself in the different ways that people live life yeah it's one of the most valuable experiences that people can have I found it so easy to grow up with a specific idea of what life is like and without seeing how other people live you, you think everybody is the same and so then if you if you meet somebody that thinks differently you don't know what to do you're I was I was like frozen when I, when I was meeting people who thought differently or lived differently, and I was like, we, had, we found no common ground. I think it's super important. Like, Odessa to Austin is so different. Like, in Odessa, getting a raise in Cane's was the biggest news in, like, six months. Like, we just got a Marriott hotel. And in Austin, that's, like, totally different. And it's just, you get a lot of different culture. Yeah, you definitely have to shift your perspective. <laughs> like, growing up in a bubble where you see the same people saying the same things, learning the same things, you inevitably have an idea of what it's like to be a human that's like predominantly influenced by where you grew up in? Obviously Maine is really small, really homogeneous. I think moving to Texas and especially Austin has presented me with a lot more communities and people who I wouldn't otherwise come in contact with. It also has allowed me to, I guess, involve myself in groups that I was more interested in being involved with that I just didn't really have access to in Maine. I mean, I think overall just leaving your hometown is a crucial 
part of developing into an adult. Being in a third world country and like being around different people surrounded by like different language and like different school systems at a young age. I don't know, like I, I'm an IRG major here, which is international relations and global studies. And I feel like it's just based on that experience early on in my life kind of shaped me to be the person I am every day. It was like a pivotal moment in my childhood for sure, where I was, you know, trying to figure out what I, what I was interested in and all that stuff, started to develop my personality. And my brothers and I, we didn't have iPhone or I, iPods or iPads or whatever and we didn't have American TV we were like living you know kind of um, in like this fairy world where we kind of made our own reality so we just were definitely when I came back I was definitely like a little bit more I feel like creative than uh, my peers because like America everybody kind of had the same thing going on and they were like oh like you played Angry Birds and I was like no what's that I, I've been playing like Hunger Games in my backyard with my brothers so if someone's struggling to take that leap to leave their hometown, they're scared of what might happen, what is the best piece of advice you could give them? There's so much accessible media, social media out there that can help you find people, parties, anything that you want to get involved with, the more people you want to meet. That's all on the internet. I mean, that's how I find most of the things that I do here is Instagram online. And don't be afraid to say hi to people. Most everybody wants more friends and is afraid to talk to people too. So if you're the one who makes that effort, most of the time they'll just be glad that somebody talked to them. Um, I'd say it's really important to be able to like branch out of your environment because there's so much more to the world that like you wouldn't be able to know otherwise. I mean, obviously learning about it is different than experiencing things on your own. And it just gives you a whole different outlook. Like you're offered like different opportunities around different things and you don't know how it's gonna change you until it does. When I was making the decision to transfer out of that smaller school, somebody told me something that, I, that has stuck with me and it was very simple. It's just, you just gotta say Fuck it. You just gotta go. Time's the only thing you can't get back, so at the end of the day, if you're even curious about it, you know, you won't ever regret going anywhere new, but you'll regret never going anywhere new. It's much better to just make a decision and deal with the consequences, if that's even what you want to call them, than to just never make a decision at all. The regret you get from not doing the thing is bigger than the regret you get from trying it and potentially exactly. f***ing up. Yeah, you might as well just go. You might as well just do it. It's 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 a much better way to live your life than thinking about everything much too hard. And there's, of course, nothing wrong with being average and living an average life if you think that's what will truly make you happy and fulfilled. But if you can relate to my story and you want to explore different parts of the world and thereby explore different parts of yourself and seek out the potentially dangerous and unknown and get uncomfortable, then leaving your hometown is the absolute best thing you can do to achieve that. So now, the only question that remains is, are you ready to take that leap? Thank you very much to all my patrons on this channel on Patreon. If you don't know what this is, it's a platform separate from YouTube where I'm putting out exclusive content and you can talk to me one-on-one -on -one over the phone on there. Link in the description. If you want to watch the first day that I tried to go out and make new friends in Austin here, then check out this video right here. Very fun video. Will motivate you as well to take a leap like this. And I love you guys. Peace.